Welcome and thank you for visiting. This is the video tutorial on how to set up Nova Launcher. Um, this will be done on the Neo U22 XJ. Uh, it doesn't really matter which launcher we're going to choose, but I'm going to go ahead and use Launcher 3. I'm going to set it as always. That way it's the default for now. Um, now that we've arrived at a, ve a very vanilla Android looking desktop, I'm going to click on Google. I'm going to I'm going to click on Chrome. Uh, I'm not going to sync my account just yet. I'm... Now, uh, I have forgotten to connect to Wi-Fi, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We are connected. First, we have to get Nova Launcher. Since uh, you could do it via the Play Store, I'm going to not sign into my Google account on this device and get it from APK Mirror. Once we're at APK Mirror, we are going to search for Nova Launcher. Now that we uh, have this pulled up, we're going to go ahead and download it. You know, um, we're just going to get into the habit of using some other installer simply because I don't use Chrome all, Chrome all that often. I prefer to use Firefox. Again, it's personal preference. Over here, we're going to search for local disk. It found the APK automatically. We're going to go hit install. It's installing. We're going to go ahead and hit open. Uh, we're going to just. Uh, Use defaults so we could skip out of this and now we could set Nova Launcher as our default there we go now what I'm going to do is get a blank page and delete the other two pages there we go. I saw the remove prompt. It, and this is a lot easier when you're just using a mouse than you know trying to delete every individual icon. Hmm. All right. Now we have a nice clean thing. Well, okay. Now we're going to go to Nova Launcher Settings and set it up as we please. Um, this is uh, the important part right here. We're going to go for gestures. We're going to make App Drawer our, uh, our home button, secondary function. We're going to make sure that the second option is checked. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit Home. Uh, here we'll do that via the bottom navigation row. I don't use that. I have a mouse that has all those buttons for me, which is actually quite nice. There we go. See, I've got volume control right off of my remote. Now that that's set up, uh, the question I've been having is how do I get widgets and app icons onto my desktop when I'm using Nova Launcher? Well, uh, I start off by you know checking those options that I already have but as you can see I didn't have an option to change my menu button that's because Nova Launcher doesn't know I have a menu button so I hold the menu button down on my remote and there we go 
Now it knows that I have a menu button. So now that, it, now that the menu button has been activated within Nova Launcher, I'm going to head to Nova Launcher settings. I'm going to go to gestures and inputs. And when I press long press, this will become my app search. Now that that's done, I'm going to hit my home button. I'll bring the navigation uh, bar back up simply so that it'll be easier to see what's going on. Now, whenever I need to create an icon, I could search for it. There we go. I do like having a clock widget. So this is how I'm going to make my clock widget. I'm going to drop the icon on my desktop. I'm going to long click and go to widgets. From widgets, I'm going to select the one that pleases me most. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, we're going to we're going to I'm going to always allow Nova Launcher to do what it's asking right here. Now that I've hit create, there we go. I've got a widget. I long click it. I could resize it to where I want it. Uh, I could actually use the resize function to move it to the top left corner because this doesn't have the bug that Launcher 3 does where it drops widgets and icons from the top left corner. Thank you for watching. That's all for now.